Okay, so we're gonna go deeper into the jerk technique, and this is specifically for the split jerk. There's a couple key factors that we have to start off with. We wanna start with a clean or front squat grip. We want our feet to be in our pulling position. That's gonna help us be a little bit taller, which will help us have a bigger drive. So Haley's gonna start with her grip and her foot position, okay? So she's gonna execute this, and, and what we wanna see is about a six to eight inch dip. And ideally, we want all of our weight to stay on our heels, okay? So we want our upper body to be about 90 degrees from our elbows to our torso. Haley has her elbows slightly below 90 degrees, sometimes around 80, which is perfectly fine as long as you're comfortable. And the goal here is that as she would dip, she wants that to stay as upright as possible, okay? So that means she has to fill her belly with air. And again, there's two types of dips that you might see with a split jerk. There's a shorter controlled dip, which is actually how Haley jerks. We have another technique, which would be a longer dip, which is typically what you'll see with somebody who has longer limbs. Uh, they might have a little bit deeper of a dip. Now, Haley's gonna demonstrate here her split jerk position. And Good. Just give me two more and then we'll put the bar down. Actually, give me one more and we're gonna pause in the split. So I wanna point out here, notice with Haley, her feet are wider. So this is actually the catch position. They're as wide as she would be when she catches a clean. Good, you can recover with that front foot forward. Good, okay, put that down. So now what we have to think about is we want the barbell to get over her shoulders, over her traps. So we wanna think about how can we move the body around the bar, okay? We are focusing on that tight dip, that upright posture, about six to eight inches. We wanna see 50% of her weight go forward, 50% of her weight go backwards, okay? We want the foot positioning to be as wide as you are in a front squat position, and then we want a front foot recovery, okay? So these are all really key concepts that we wanna see when we're executing proper technique for the split jerk.